because they are light Mars. They will be in your face aggressive going against Kamehame and Itsuji. Itsuji has really been impressing me, you know, with his doubles play all day. Hell yeah. Really good, really good precision uh, in the neutral and off stage too. But light Mars, once they get one teammate in the disadvantage, they are so good at pushing uh, the advantage state on him. So I agree. bouncing them back and forth to each other. So we'll see what they can come up here uh, in game one, Rod. That's right. This is losers of final. So yes, like you talked about you know, there's quite a bit on the line here, and I think both sides, all four gentlemen on stage, certainly well aware of what's at stake. But see, the thing is though, is that Asuji finds himself on the receiving end. After re he plays so well from behind. Yeah, you know, it, it, and I think that's pretty safe to say. Throughout the majority of doubles here this evening, he found himself Light just stock pulling burst. it down. Do you see that? Yeah, Light just doesn't. He's just chilling. Light just doesn't Perry care, down bro. smash. That's two stocks. Your turn. My turn. Back and forth. Mars and Light tossing around the blue team on the ledge. They just Jesus. Don't care. They just don't care, man. They're just like, dude, you're literally not getting back to the stage. Like, this is actually ours. Back row, oh, no forward tilt, so I do like that option. I was expecting possibly like a down tilt to dash attack, but you know, throw forward tilt, maybe the safer of the two. Obviously, dash attack has a bit of lag on it. Okay, up tilt. Ah, yes. Immediate punt inside of shield. I feel like, you know, defensive warrior is actually a really strong warrior as well, too. And yeah. With how offensively charged and strong the red team is, we could see a little bit more of that here kind of come out and oh, aid him. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, we've seen how dominant the blue team could be, but red team is just taking stocks very quickly. Uh -huh, making this one look very effortless here. Uh-oh. Okay. Nothing. I like how Light activated that all the way in the bottom of the blast zone before he became a magnifying glass. It was hard to tell what he was doing down there. That was smart. Oh, oh no! He again. couldn't interrupt it. Did you see him try to use the Zare too? Blue team firing back with a team combo of their own. Very well done. And not only firing back, but firing back with a bit well, a bit of bit of raise, slightly less than before. I was oh. because he lost that stock, but uh, still a bit of raise. And raise we've seen it can really make well. Could have made. I see. I keep talking like in present tense, and I got to yeah. switch in mid okay, sentence to past tense. Kicks and hey. another one. Kid tested, mother approved. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Kicks. Oh my god. Ah, okay, but Wario is also glowing right here, so this could actually be their time for a slight turn of, of you know, what has made. All right, game two, Rod. What game. are we gonna be looking for? You we know, saw the blue team go Mega Man, mm -hmm. uh, Palu, and it worked out pretty good. Yeah, you know, I just probably expect to see that, you know. Anyway. Yeah, and here we are. We are in game number. It just there's just some matches where you're like, because you know you're, you're you're always accused of like. <laughs> Shai, I knew, like, I knew that was coming. It was Jim, that. That's pretty funny. It's either going to be that or Pulp Fiction. It was, it, it was one of the two. Ooh. That was going to come. How about either way? You tell me. Unbreakable. I could be I could be Bruce Willis. No, I, you could be Bruce Willis. I, I could say. be Mr. I mean, I could, man. You what you trying to say? What you trying to say? No, I'm joking. That's what I'm saying. Um, well, I was going to say, who, who do I get to be? You could actually be, you could be Bruce Willis. Unbreakable. Bruno? Bruce Willis. You know Bruno? That's his uh, That's his musical artist name. Oh, he does do music, doesn't he? Bruno. Is he good, though? Oh, he's amazing. Oh, Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis, man. You aren't just saying that because you're afraid that Bruce Willis might come and get you. I know he's watching. What are they doing right now? I don't know. This stream is falling apart, dude. Between them and us, oh, there you go. at least Kamehameha. <laughs> he's he's so trying he's to. Like, he's we're like, just happy to be here. I don't know about that. Kamehameha will cut it. <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> I feel like we might see a statement game from the blue team after that. I think so. I think they, they know. I, there's um there's definitely a difference in play style between America and Japan, you know, and that, that's not just because of the red team's nature of their characters. I think there's actually a bit more of a calm, cool, and collective type of play style here from uh, from Japan. Now you know it's funny when I went to Sweden, I'm not that great of a player, but I played one of their TLs and he was like, ah, you play like an American, and I didn't know what the hell that meant. But then when he broke it down to me, he's like, yeah, you guys have habits of your approach options and how will you pre you pressure on shield before you decide to reset the neutral and so on and so forth. I was like, bro, first of all, I didn't fight away over here for you to just expose me. That None of that is true. And then we <laughs> played more games and it ended up actually being true. So there could be just a class of play styles. So let's we'll see how this one plays yeah. out here. Well, I think there's like a whole ecosystem when it comes to learning how to play against each other. Like what really works against each other. And then you kind of grow this, you know, self-made meta where you're trying to use the best moves of every character. So you're going to see a lot of the same things sure. no matter where you play. But in terms of tempo and play style and what you have an eye for, that's framed by who you play against. I agree. Uh-oh. Yeah, the up tilt. Doesn't quite get the stock taken. Just really utilizing, getting the most of his money out of these tilts. Not quite enough though, to get the stock taken. And that's kind of just the Fox, uh, you know, match sometimes. Sometimes you toss everything at him, plus the kitchen sink. And then he just answers back with up tilt up here and just kills himself. Hopefully it doesn't go down like that here for Team Japan. 
They have a slight lead right here. The first time throughout the course of this match. Are you? All right, all right, all right. In the words of PB and J, all right, my, you got it. All right, just ran into his shield like three times in a row, just really looking for a, a, an option for him to drop shields. He can possibly go for like Nair out of two or maybe even up B. A half loft right there. Nice job. Good recognition there by Kamebe. I'm telling you, we're going to make a statement game here. And they're doing just that, Rob. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's ever a time to put a statement on the board. It's certainly right now, man. I mean, this is the last step before Grand Ooh. Final. Oh, my God, the turnaround forward smash. Even Wario felt that. He was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Yo, he has great sound effects, actually. Like, his getting hit sound effects are so funny. Uh -huh. In general, Wario, just a pretty hilarious guy. Great game series, too. Have you ever played uh, WarioWare, any of those games? You know what's Very funny? Fun. I've never played any of the WarioWares. I've always played the Wario Lands. Okay. I played the Wario. I even played the Wario and Mario game, like that Japanese only release, but I've never actually played any of the Wario Wares. But okay. just judging from the music, because I like, you know, Mona Pizza and all those songs. Ashley, Ashley song, songs. Yeah. yeah. Those, are, those are bangers. I was like, if the music is this good, there's not too many games where the music is better than the game. Usually the music means that the game is OD. Right. Here we go, though. Landing there. Good job here. The blue team. Ah. Okay, getting a little spicy right there on the right side of the stage. Red team in a slight deficit here. Nice, gets to turn around forward, or excuse me, almost said forward air, but that was actually the uh, side steps right here from uh, from Mars. Yes, and then using the coverage right there of Lila to get some great positioning going. Okay, taking care of one stock. Red team doing some work on that shield, but Light, he's gonna have to go all the way back to recover. What has he got? Wow, Kamebe went deep for that one. Couldn't find anything off stage, but he does find the slap on stage. Very well done, and just like that, blue team up big time, and Light, Oh no, he's he's in for a world of hurt right now, Rod. I he think is, uh, he's being taken Woo! on a ride right here, but the Uber driver just hasn't quite confirmed the destination on where we are going. Hold on, oh, coast to coast. Yep, he's good. He might be straight. Oh no, down tilt. Oh yes, the hands. Wow, the waft too. Very nice job. That's right. Kamebe with some clutch wafts there. I mean, the last the last side. Now, look at how the tides have turned. Now Team Japan is laughing and having a great time in between games. And Light and Mars are like, what the heck? What, what do uh, we do now? What do those guys just do? They just did a thing. Uh, Kamemi just redefining the definition of giving them the hands. Uh, you know, uh, now it means, you got. I mean, you just got to respect the up tilt, okay? Like, you yeah. know that move when it comes out, it's not meant for anything else but comboing and killing you. All right. Wonderful game number two right there. Here we are game number three. Now, this right here is a very definitive game. Obviously not quite as definitive as like a final game or like the last game of a 3-0, but I feel like this one can really dictate how the you know, the momentum is going to go. You know, you Rubber go, match. That's right. We're tied up. We got to break it. Okay, Nairo just falling asleep in the front row. He took off the, the glasses, dude. He's like, I don't want to see this anymore. That's right. I'm done. All right, never mind. I'm back in. Anyway, game three. Fox, Zero Suit, Wario, Lucina on the board. Blue versus red, a classic. That's right. Back throw into... Okay, that's 40% nearly on Wario very quickly, and we're just going to keep doing it. That's right, and why not, man? If it ain't broke, certainly don't fix it at this point. Yeah, ah. it's the thing about earning respect from your opponent. Like, I'm going to keep doing an option until you teach me not to do it, and that's, you know, it carries forward doubles, too. Right. You're going to let us keep grabbing Wario and punishing him. Let's do it. We talk about how uh, how much just precision you have to have to parry Nair from Lucina. I mean, obviously, it's, it's a double-hitting move. You know, being able to understand, okay, I parried the first hit, now I can actually come in and punish you for the second. Well, with Fox, too, he is one of the best grounded combo starter, uh, grounded uh, comp, uh, combo starting tools yep, uh, yep, in, yep. in up tilt. So if you parry the one, it's pretty easy just to like, kind of match up tilt. It's like Ken, too. Ken is very similar stuff. Ken That's and Ryu right. and all them. Yes. Kind of smash up tilt or down tilt whatever the parry, and it's probably going to work. Yeah, you parry that close to their bodies, uh, you're definitely going to yeah. get punished. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay, nice. I just thought he was going to go for the uh, short hop into the nair, but actually just goes for the fall away nair. Of course, the booty does have a hitbox on it as well, man. All righty, yes. I, I see you lurking right there with the forward tilt. Okay, you have to use the bike. Not even gonna, not even gonna deal with Wario off stage. He's gonna force the two v one right there on the right side. But Lucina certainly has all her bases covered. Very, very long gal. Doesn't need much help sometimes. Lucina air dodge. Light is gonna have to scoot back to the stage. Maybe a forward tilt. Oh, what do we got? Okay. Oh no. Okay. I think a bit of a mix up there from Kameme. Uh -huh. I think he wanted to throw towards. Uh, the charge up smash, man, could not find it though. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that earlier um, in doubles. You know, we see the throw right into the up smash and it would close out. But that time, not quite as synced up as what we are quite used to. Hope that's not a sign of what's to come. No fall. Oh my goodness, it just narrowly escapes the falling upper and the up tilt. Two of Wario's strongest combo starters right there on the ground. 
Okay, cross up back in. Oh, what's it gonna be? Ooh, up smash, okay. A little bit of delay on Wario's. I like that. Good use of that move by Kamehame. As you say, we got pretty much a tie game here. Stocks, but Itsuji has to recover. And it's gonna be tough against Mars, who's been excellent from the ledge all day. I agree. We haven't seen a lot of uh, a lot of anti-air options. You know, just in terms of like what uh, light, or excuse me, light, but Mars is bringing to the table. I mean, of course, you know, light is a guy who's going to be able to smother you. A lot of what ZSS does come out of like short hop air, short hop forward air, so on and so forth. Especially some of those lower percents. But that was like one of the first times that we actually seen an anti-air option that kept, uh, you know, Mars off. Of. Not up smash, not the quickest up smash in the world, but I, I feel like a statement was sent nonetheless. Big key here is that Itsuji has been living. He's up 122. He's going to be over 130 when he explodes, and there he goes. Another big factor, though, is you got Rage Waft from Wario. The Zero Suit is potentially a death percentage if he gets hit in the wrong way, but ah, instead, yeah. Mars finding the stock first. Well That's done. Right, so right into reality right here, but the blue team is not going to go quietly into the night at all. They're going to try to figure out how to get these stocks taken. If they can't get them off of Mars, then they'll just force the stair stock on me. As you can see here, yes, very good right there. Excuse me, Swiss focus, goodness gracious. Okay, Swiss focus right there from uh, uh, from Isuzu back over to Kamehameha. I think he's seen something cooking. You know, he's seen a lot of short hop nares into uh, the up air conversions, and uh, Mars is a day late and a dollar short on stopping that. And right here, we brought this thing back into virtually even footing here for the most part. So looking for more. I mean, the walks has been used. Mars is going to play evasively. It's up to White to kind of get the offense started. Uh -huh. Mars doesn't want to lose the stock yet. Okay, yes, the forward it right from the ledge. Applying a lot of pressure at night. And then just a turnaround forward smash. Oh, Mars sent flying, not quite as close to the blast one as the blue team would have light, but you know, so the percent still certainly speak in their favor. You can't quite get anything off of that counter, man. And Suji's been doing that all evening and just not quite getting the turnaround that he is looking for. Oh, no! For. Oh, no, a miscalculation by Mars. It could be enormous. Fighting his way up the ledge, though, that's a fair. What's he gonna find? A lot of air to air. Kamebe, nice job staying on the ground, and now he's fighting Mars away from the air. Let's see what he can find. Hold on. Has to fight his way up the ledge. Flip jump. Hold oh, on. He's the, grounded. Oh. He's grounded. The Ayo. nerfs don't matter. Oh. The instant up B catching Kameme in the air. Well done by Mars. That was the game right there if he had whiffed that. Yeesh. The space heals, homie. Dude, no, no Patreon that is needed. nerfed. That is exactly what they nerfed and it still works. And it still works, man. Nice job. Now we're seeing the smiles on the other side again. I love this. I love this. Mm -hmm. I love this post-game look. How happy Light and Mars are, elated to say the least. Mm -hmm. And now, Kamehameha and Asuji, they're like, all right, it's locking. Come on. They're like, all right. Best of five. Best of five. Best of five. Best yeah, that's, of five, that's player. Don't, don't, don't celebrate just yet, OK? This is Loser's Finals right here. And if there's ever time to you know, pull that trick that's been hiding up your sleeve out to show the world, it's definitely now. So are we going to get? Nope. No Mega Man, we're actually just going to stay Wario and Lucina? Are, are we really doing that? We're actually doing that, okay. We've seen how detrimental it was when he switched over to, um, to Mega Man and just a, a few sets ago, like how much of a difference it made. Uh, you would think, you know, being in a deficit, but maybe not. Maybe it's because of the, of the pick. Obviously a little bit easier to harass because there's no platforms with uh, Wario than it is just tossing out up air with Mega Man. Well, I think a big thing, too, is that against Game & Watch, it's harder to get the setups into WAP. Like, it's harder to That's kind true. of combo the character and, you know, find him in spots where he's vulnerable to That's that. Right. So right. I think, you know, it couldn't really get a whole lot started with Wario against him. So, it, and the Palu was, was another switch, too. I think they were just trying it out, honestly, and it worked out. So, yeah, worked pretty much in their favor for the most part. But, you know, regardless, no Mega Man needed this game. Still playing virtually close to the chest here. Neither side really giving each other that solid size lead. And obviously, if there's ever a time to really keep it close, it's definitely now, man. Especially with his, in the Suji's case. You know, the, the way, the nature of, you know, his gameplay, especially Ooh. the way some of these matches start, you usually find yourself in a deficit. But this time right here, just kind of keeping it close. Great, great footwork. Ooh. No parry. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the fancy footwork. That was a great delayed parry there, too. Because Bars held on to that back air, threw it out as late as he could. So that was great by Suji. I'm telling you, man, precision is the name of the game with that guy. Oh, He's got sick. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, just out into the magnifying glass he goes. When he comes back, literally nobody knows. I love that right there from Kameme. Just being able to just turn any situation around into his favor. I feel like that really speaks volumes for his character. Oh, it's the no. counter. Finally finds the one opening here this time. So ZSS Light certainly has to the help. tools to get nice. back. Yes. Perfect. 
Well done by Light. Man, that was really scary for Mars. I mean, he got greedy off stage, so that, that's a situation you expect to end it. But the fact that he's able to hold on the stock is enormous for the red team. What's it going to be? Up smash? Very good. Okay, that's me, fam. My bad. Got a little too close. All right, the Nair, yes, yes. That's, that's all you Woo! need. That's all you need, homie. It's again, gatekeeper. again. Okay, doesn't quite Nair the second really? time in a row. Really, Mars? Just taunted in neutral. Well, I guess at the ledge. Yeah. Not really neutral. Oh, oh my gosh, stinky boy. That's a. Uh oh. Stinky. Uh oh. Stinky. stinky. Uh oh, stinky boy. <laughs> oh, God, dude. <laughs> anyway, delaying the recovery there. Man, I feel like every time. We look over at Asuji, he's trapped on the ledge. If it's not light, it's Mars. Yeah, he's just really struggling, man. I don't know exactly what it is about him. Maybe it's just, it could be a matchup thing. Maybe it could be a play style thing. But when he gets to the ledge and stage, he really just struggles to find magic. I think light and Mars are just exceptionally good there, and they know they got to keep Asuji pinned to the ledge. Uh -huh. Oh, dear. There's the forward air. Again. Oh my God, Mars, get out of here. He's crazy because he's only at 28%, but he did create a path for Light to come through. Great double right too. now. Was like, oh, yeah. I don't oh whoa. my whoa, God. Whoa, 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 and did you whoa, see whoa. the angle after the fact from Light to whoa. not hit Asuji? God, that was nasty. Are Light. You, are you kidding me, sir? Sir, Paris are you kidding me? Ramirez. See ya. Wait, that, that's his real name? Yeah, there it is. It's pretty sick, right? His first name is Paris. It's dope. That, that, that actually is kind of That's a dope name. Yeah, it is. It's like when we found out Dark Wizzy's real name. What's his real name? Machine Rose. Like the oh, sickest yeah. name of all time. How did he get Dark Wizzy and his name is, you know what, Bro, okay. I don't know, that's Larry's biggest problem with him. It's Larry, we're pushing the agenda. We got to get Rasheen Rose out here. Yeah, man, I'm definitely, that name is actually lit. Remember Dire on Fire? His real name is Jensen Santiago. What? Yeah, that name is Pierce. That Sack. is sick, dude. Yeah. I know he was probably mad I shouldn't have said that, but I say, I got I got to let the streets know, man, that <laughs> name is actually clean. You said it, bro. I didn't see it. Oh. Okay, gets the reverse. Yes, and then right into the side special. Light and Mars is going to go ahead and take it. 3-1 over Kamehameha and Asuji. Very, very valiant effort put up. No Mega Man in that set. You rock.